In this tutorial, I will show you how you can convert any HTML template into a Laravel 7 project. This is a little bit different than other uh, frameworks. So, first of all, uh, you have to download any uh, template, free template, or you can use any premium template. I, I have used a free template here. And the template is stay home. This is the template. You can download it from this option. I've already downloaded it here. And if I run it uh, from my local drive, then it will look like this. Okay, this is, the, uh, this is the template. And this is the particular about how it works. This is a static template. First of all, I will uh, convert it, convert this template in this way and then it will run from the Laravel folder and next I will uh, make this part the listing part that contains property information done. Okay. Next step uh, is to uh, download the fresh copy of Laravel 7 and uh, rename the folder name Laravel Project or at the time of creation you can set the project name as Laravel Project. I have already uh, copied a fresh copy of uh, Laravel so I will rename it Laravel, sorry, Laravel Project. Okay, it is a blank copy. I will show you localhost slash laravel laravel project slash laravel. You see, it is a totally a fresh copy. Now, the for the next step. Step 3, copy only the files from the template folder into the view folder of your HTML template. So, my HTML template contains these files, so I will copy just the files or you can just uh, take the HTML file only. I am uh, copying all files from here and copy in my Laravel project resource view folder. Okay, now the next step is to rename all files with HTML extension tablet or PHP. So there are four HTML files. So rename it like this blade.php. Properties. Dot blade.php property single dot blade.php and single dot blade.php you will rename those files only that you want to convert into a Laravel view file. And uh, now step 5 copy all folders from template into public folder. So go to the template folder, stay home master, and this is the folder CSS, ROM, CMS, JSS, SCSS. Just copy this folder and go to your Laravel project public folder. This is the public folder and paste it here. Okay, now go for the step 6. Change the link of all CSS, JS and EMS files. So, open your project in any editor. Open folder. Select folder. A 
okay and uh, the file I have copied this is here and the resource here okay now instead of this uh, add these lines this is the base URL of your Laravel project for all your CSS local CSS links so first of all I will work with index.net.php file and there are many local CSS links so replace it like this replace all and in the same way there are JSS files in the bottom of the index replace this JS and if there are any images, you can also change the images like this. Uh, image of your replace. Replace and type the images. Images. Okay, replace all. Now the file. Now go for the step eight. Uh, change the route. Uh, by default, route for any new project is uh, with the PHP well complete. So I will make it index mode. Just change it to index. Okay. Now, first time run the project and check the form page is running from the Laravel folder or not. So, I will refresh it here. You can see the template is now working for your Laravel project folder. And all static container showing like the real template. Okay. Now, next part is to uh, make this section dynamic. In this template, you can make this section dynamic our properties and uh, our agents and our blog or any other our comments or feedbacks that you want to make dynamic. Uh, for that, you have to create database table in your database and uh, retrieve the data from the database to your template. And for this you have to create model and controller. So I will just show you the one way of dynamic. If you can understand this then you can do the other first. So I will make this for dynamic which is static now. So for this I will need a table properties and I will retrieve the data from this table here. That these data are all static. Okay, now go for the next step. Uh, first, uh, create the migration file to for the property table. So, go to step 12. And before that, uh, you have to check the database connection is okay or not. So, I will go to the env file and just set the root password and you can save it. I have used uh, the database Laravel here and uh, I have already created the migration file before. For this I will show you the migration file but I will not create the database because it is already created in my uh, uh, database uh, MySQL server and the table is already created. So I will just run the migra how to create the migration file. So just copy it and go to your Laravel project folder and run this. You know, the migration file uh, will be created in the database folder under migration folder and uh, this is our uh, properties migration file. And the next step is to set the field for the properties table 
uh, I have uh, set the field based on my template uh, property so there uh, there will be this field and I just copy the content of the step 13 and uh, open your migration file and paste it here you can see there are uh, this field ID, name, lot area, flow area, location, pattern, etc. Okay, uh, you know the next step is to run the PHP admin, uh, PHP artisan migrant that I have already done previously to making this tutorial. So I will not do this step, but you have to do it. So I will uh, show you the table now. This is the variable, and this is my property step. And you can see there are uh, four records here. And I will retrieve this record using a uh, Laravel and display in my template. So after doing a step 14, and uh, add some record that I've already done. And step 16 is to create the controller to retrieve the data from this table. So just run this command here to make the controller. And next step is to create the model. Copy this and run. And the model is created. And now open your controller file. Well, controller file is under ACP, HTTP, controller, property controller. So replace the content of this file with state 18. Okay, here I have added the model and the index method uh, which will retrieve all data from the property table and pass to the index class file. And the next step is to change the index class. Okay, save this file and open your index class. And uh, in step 19, you have to find out the D where careful properties used. That means uh, this section, our property. So go to this file and find out the location. And I think this is the part. Line number 147, our property. And character property is used here. So you task is to first find out the ending div of this div, uh, ending tag of this div. Uh, where it is closed, this is closed here, and uh, uh, this is a start here. So I will remove this part. And then now the carousel div is empty, and I will add the code of step 19 to do the task and using data from the property table test okay what it will do it will uh, run a for loop uh, where throws uh, throws variable will be passed from the controller here Close that will read all records from property table and send to the index blade and in this blade will read each record and uh, display the uh, content from the table to the tabular. Okay, our next step is to change the route. So I will go to the web.php file and of this line and add the new route property controller in this and uh, after that I now I can check my template is uh, reading from the database or not it is this put on the static data or refresh you can see these data are from database 
check it. This is paradise one, paradise two, paradise three, and uh, continue is also coming from here. Uh, also, you can check the values, price values. This is the price values which are showing here, and there are only four records, and it is showing only four records here. Okay, now, now our uh, next part is to make uh, this question. And another thing is that um, uh, the image, if the image file is not working properly, then you have to rename the image file like this onto the public folder. Uh, you have to change this one work on work to uh, like this. If you make it an uh, ID wise, then it will show the image like that. And uh, our next part is to show the details. And for this, you have to create other methods in your property controller method. And I will show you this in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching.